Remember, so, so go to your, do your file save as. It's stubborn. So file save as, make sure it's in your M drive, your 9000 drive. You can browse to that and find it over on the um, left hand side, go to this PC, and then it'll be down at the bottom of that, there's the M drive. So make sure you're saving everything there. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to play with tabs, tabs and bullets. I don't know if you've ever done tabs before. To be able to play with your tabs, we've got to turn on your rulers. Right now, you don't see your ruler along the top here and down the side. Do you see yours there? Probably not. Um, so go ahead and go to view at the top, click the view tab, and then you're going to turn on your rulers. It's just a checkbox that says ruler next to it. So just put a check mark in ruler. And then that'll turn on your ruler. So you've got, then you've got them on the left and along the top there. And we need that to turn to be able to set some tabs in. Now, you guys know what a tab is like when you tap something in, it's like the first end of your paragraph. And by default, if I hit the tab key, it, it does it every half inch is what the default is. But we're going to actually set some tabs that will be very specific and um, we're going to make some, some lists and do some different things um, with them. To start with that, you can do over on the top, see where the, on the top left where your, your rulers kind of intersect, if you went to the left, and then up, there's a, like an L over there. See that little box with an L? That's your tab. So the L means it's a left tab. If you click on that, click on that once, you'll see there's a center tab. That's like an upside down T. Click it again, there's like a backwards L. That's your right tab. So it'll, it'll line everything on the right hand side. If you keep clicking that, that is a dot leader. Um, there's just a line tab and then there's some margin stuff. <coughs> Okay, get all the way back to the L again. So we want, we were gonna, we're gonna start with the L tab, with the left tab. Okay, with that left tab selected, oh, go over to the number one on your ruler for one inch and just click. You gotta go just a little bit under the one and that's gonna put a, a tab set right there. So that's gonna be our first tab, that's a left tab. Okay, did you get set all right? Sometimes students have a hard time finding, so it's just right underneath the number one. Click on your, that tab set again, and let's do a center tab. So go over to that, the tab where it toggles. The center tab's an upside down T, and let's do that on the number, let's do that like three and a half. Let's do a center tab. And let's do a right tab, so click on that one more time. For the right, it's the backwards L. And let's put that on like, um, let's do that at five and a half. Okay, so those are our three tabs we've set. So now, hit your tab key. That's gonna go to our first tab. And let's just type, let's type in your name. Hit your tab key again. And let's do this one, business office specialist. Hit tab again, and let's do today's date. September, what is today, the 8th, 2021. And if you notice, the business office specialist one, that's centered with that tab. The left one started at the left, and the right one starts at the right, and it actually feels like it's going backwards on that. Now, the business office specialist in September, it looks like it kind of overlaps a little bit, so we want to adjust that some. So let's take that right tab that is at five and a half, and let's slide it over to six. So if you just click and hold on that tab and slide it, it'll go right over to the six. And that'll move your tab. And you could do that if you have a whole list of tabs, you can highlight all your text and you can adjust your tabs where you want those tabs to go. Now, if you happen to, if you, if you want to slide it, and if you actually pull down a little bit, that will get rid of your tab. So you gotta be careful. That's how you delete a tab, is just drag it off the ruler and that gets rid of it, okay? Do I write with that so far? Not too bad, right? Okay, let's hit our enter key twice. And notice your tabs will stay on there for as long as you keep going. So we could tab and do more, but we're gonna change the tabs this time. So we're gonna, we're gonna set some very specific ones again. This time we're gonna go up to our home tab. I'm gonna show you where the properties are at for the t so you can get into the tabs. So go to your home tab. On the paragraph group, we're gonna hit that little arrow down to get the paragraph settings. We want that whole dialog box to pop up. Okay, so home tab, paragraph, paragraph settings. 
And then this is kind of hidden. At the very bottom left, it'll say tabs. We want to get into that. Did you find that all right? Okay. We're going to hit tabs. And you'll see there's our tabs that we set. There's one at one inch, three and a half inches, and six inches. We want to get rid of those. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit clear all. That's going to clear all those tabs out to give us just, we can start from scratch. Okay, so we're going to set three tabs for this list. We're going to set a one inch tab. So just on tab stop position, just hit one. It's already a left tab. We're going to keep that, and we don't want a leader. I'll talk about that in a second. We're going to do none. So hit set. That sets your first tab. Now let's do one at three. So we're going to do a three inch. Let's make this a center tab. And then let's make this one a, what they call a dot leader. So do number two under leader. What that's going to do is that's going to put dots in front of your tab. So it'll, it'll line up everything from your first tab to the second tab. That, you'd use these for like a table of contents. You're going to create a menu today that has dots, you know, that has the leaders. Anything that you want to have the eye like follow along the line, you would do that. Okay, so we did three, center, number two for the dot leaders, and hit set. And then we're going to do one last one. Let's do five and a half. So five and a half. Let's do a right tab on this one. And let's do a dash leader. Let's do number three so that you can see what they look like. So a dash leader, hit set. So it should say one, three, five and a half. And if you want to make sure you did it right, I could click on like number three, and it'll tell me number three is a center one with a dot leader. So if you, if you messed it up, you can go back and, and fix it if you need to. Okay, with all those three set in, we're going to hit OK. Doesn't really look like it did much yet, but we do have our three tabs along the top. Let's do, let's hit our tab key. Let's, let's start making a list. We're going to do, let's type in Disney movies. Okay, hit tab again. And it should have given you a line or dots. Hopefully you got dots on the dot leaders, right? And let's do main character. Hit your tab key again. And let's do sidekick. Then hit your enter key. Okay, did that work? Did you get the dot? Do you get the dashes on there? Pretty cool, right? So hit your enter key, hit tab. Give me a movie. Give me a Disney movie. Give me a, an animation. Lion King. We'll do Lion King first. Lion King. Who's the main character? What do you think? Simba. Who's the sidekick? Ooh. Pick one. Timon and Pumba. Pick one of those. Timon and we'll give them both. Timon and Pumba. Okay, hit your enter key, hit tab. Give me another one. I heard one over here. Cars. 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 Who's the main character? Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen. Who's the sidekick? Mater. Mater? Mater's the sidekick? Give it to Mater. Okay, we'll give it to Mater. It's not the girlfriend? No. no? <laughs> okay, hit your enter key, tab. Give me another one. Let's do two more. Oh, We'll do Mulan, and then we'll come back. Mulan, uh, main character, Mulan, sidekick. The dragon. What's his name? Uh, Mushu. Mushu. Mushu, OK. JC, what one did you say? Aladdin. Aladdin, main character, Aladdin, and sidekick. Abu, Abu OK. We'll do Abu. Nice. See how those are lining up? You've got your center. Everything's lined up on the right. It just looks super nice, right? OK, let's hit your enter key twice. We're going to set some new tabs. We're going to do two of them this time. I want to show you how to get to your tab properties a little quicker. When you have tabs set up here, just go up to one of your tabs, put your mouse over it, and double click on it. If you get just right, it'll, it'll open up your tabs. So you could go to the Home tab, Paragraph, Tabs, or you can double click on a tab if you have it. First thing we're going to do, if we're going to do different tabs, what are we going to do with the old tabs? Clear, clear. clear them. We want to get rid of all those. So clear all. We're going to set two tabs. Let's set a two inch, just a two inch left tab. No leaders, because the leader is going to go in front. If I, if I put it on the first one, my dots would go across the front. And we don't want that. Okay. So we're just going to set that. And then let's do one at five inches. So we're going to do five inches. Let's do a right tab. And let's do the last one. Let's do a line leader down here. Let's do the number four so you can see what they all do. 
do a line leader, set that one. So you got a two inch and a five inch. Hit OK. And it'll show the two inch and the five inch up on top. So just hit your tab key. And this time, let's do princesses and then tab and do their pet. Okay. Did you get the line to work in there? Yep. You all right? Okay, give me a princess. Rapunzel, okay. Who's, what's her pet? It's the chameleon. What's the chameleon's name? Ooh, nice. <laughs> Love it. It's a good show. Own it, man. I don't, that's all right. Who else? Give me another one. Give me another princess. Come on. There's tons of them. Who? Oh, I heard it? Jasmine. So we'll do Jasmine. Who's her pet? Tiger. What's the tiger's name? Anybody know? Raja. Nice. Raja. Give me another one. Think of another one. Another princess. <coughs> Cinderella. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. Who's her pet? Should we do Gus Gus? One of the ma the mice. And last one. One more. Ariel. Ariel. Good. And who's our pet? Flounder. Flounder. Is he a pet or a sidekick? We'll call him a pet for this case. Okay, hit your enter key twice. That's good enough. Okay, we're going to test your knowledge from last time. I want to put a dividing line in here. How am I going to put a dividing line in here? You guys remember? Insert. Nice, because we're going to insert the line. So go up to the insert tab. Where's that under the insert tab? Shapes. Well done. So go to shapes and then just grab, just grab the line and I'm just going to draw a line across. How do I keep it straight? Shift. shift. Hold your shift key down. Okay. That gives me my format tab too and that's selected so now I can change the color, the size, if I want dashes, any of that kind of stuff. So under shape outline, I'm going to change the weight. You don't have to. You can just play with it if you want to. I'm going to do like a three point. Um, I'll make it black to match the other stuff. Okay. Okay. Because you'll do some dividing lines today. How do I get my cursor underneath that line? You guys remember this? Double click it. Yeah, well done. Double click it. So double click underneath your line. And this time, let's make a list of, um, let's do favorite Disney movies. <coughs> We're on a Disney theme today. Then just hit your enter key. We're not going to do tabs on this. We're going to do bullets this time. So give me some movies. Favorite movies? Uh, Moana. Moana. Okay. Give me another one. I heard another one. Hercules. Hercules. Nice. Love the music in Hercules. Give me three more. Shout them out. Favorite movie. Come on, you got to have some favorite Disney movies. Over the head. That's no, it's not Disney. It's like, it's like, um, it's not Pixar. It's DreamWorks, I think. Yes. That one doesn't count. Good movie. Doesn't count. <laughs> Coco. Coco, okay. Ferdinand. That's a, say it again. Ferdinand. That's not Disney either. Brother Bear. Brother Bear. Ooh, that's an oldie. Brother Bear. And one more. Give me one more. Monsters, Inc. Goofy, okay. Goofy movie and Monsters, Inc. I'm going to do both. Okay. Let's make bullets out of these. You guys know how to do that much at least. So just highlight those. Don't do the favorite Disney movies. That's our title. So highlight the five or six movies that you did. Go up to your bullets and numbering. Instead of just clicking on the bullets numbering and it's next to your font group, it's in the paragraph group, hit the arrow down and then just pick a bullet. Doesn't matter which bullet it is. We're going to play with these a little bit. So pick a bullet. Okay. Did you find them? You good? So now in your paragraph group, top left of your paragraph group. Okay, now highlight just two of them. Just pick two. It doesn't really matter which two. Highlight two movies. And we're going to indent those. This first, this first bullet, this is considered the first level. And you can have different levels. And every time you do a different level, it indents it and gives you a different bullet, right? So to indent that, there's two ways to do that. Up in your paragraph group, again, there's an increase and a decrease indent. It's like a little paragraph with a blue arrow that goes left and right. If I hit the increase, that pushes it in. 
one indent, and it changes your bullet on that. If I keep hitting that, it changes the bullets multiple times. Your tab key does the same thing. I can hit my tab key, it'll tab it in, and a shift tab will decrease the indent. Shift brings it back, and the tab brings it forward. Okay, and you can do the decrease and increase up there too. Okay, now let's change this, this bullet. Don't highlight the bullet, just click somewhere on that second level. We want to change whatever bullet you had in here, just the traditional one. We're going to insert something different there. So to do that, we're going to hit that arrow down again on your bullets and go clear to the bottom and do define new bullet. Okay, define new bullet. And then we're going to go to symbol under bullet character. Click on symbol. What this does is this opens up all your different fonts. Well, certain fonts are made to do symbols. They're not just made for letters. And this would actually be the same way you would insert. You'd insert a symbol, though, instead. You can insert like the, like if you have the French E, you know, with the carrot above it or whatever. You can do that this way. So right now, mine's on a font. It's on the Courier New. I'm going to hit that arrow down on font, and we're going to choose a different font. These are named really funny. They're called Webdings and Wingdings. So go clear down to the W's and find the webdings and wingdings and check those out. So I'm going to do um, webdings and it gives you like little pictures and stuff and little graphics that you can choose. And you can scroll through those and find all different kinds of different objects. So go ahead and find an object and click on, I'm going to do the headphones. I found some headphones. Once you find we like, you hit OK, then hit OK again, and that changes your, your second level to whatever image that you put in there, whatever symbol you did. Okay. We're going to do that one more time, but we're all going to create the same, we're going to do the same um, icon in there. Okay. So select a first level and don't highlight them, just select it. If you highlight it, it doesn't give you the option to change it. So just make sure your, your cursor is on a first level bullet. And go back into that same thing. Go back into your bullets and numbering, define new bullet, symbol. This time go to um, wingdings. Just the first wingdings. And this time I want you to put in, we're going to do, instead of trying to have you navigate to this, the, the assignment's going to do this today too. We're going to go down to the character code. And the character code, type in 67. So we're under the Wingdings font, type in 67 on the character code, and then just hit OK. And that should give us all the thumbs up on there. We do that all right? OK, that, you'll do that in today's assignment. OK, one last thing, then I'll let you loose. Okay. So we need to put a footer down here. Now, in, in Word, you, you've probably heard of headers and footers before. Uh, the header is something that goes on the top of your page, footers on the bottom. Um, whenever you put something in a header or footer, it's going to go on every single page you did. So if you had a 15-page report and you put your name on the first page, it's going to put your name on all 15 pages. You can put the page numbers and it would count. It would say page one, page two, page three. We're not going to get too deep into that. We will as we start doing report formatting and stuff. So to find your headers and footers, that's under the Insert tab. So go to the Insert tab. And then almost to the right, you'll see when it says header footer. <coughs> Not quite to the, it's a whole group on its own, header footer. So insert tab, we're going to do footer. And then it's going to give you some built-ins, some uh, blank one with three columns. Then it gives you some like uh, template type ones. We're just going to do blank three columns just to show you what it does. So click on blank three columns. That actually opens up your headers and footers. Your headers and footers are always behind your text. And when you open them up, it like puts them in front so that you can edit them. And then when you close them, it puts them back behind. So you can still see them, but they're a little bit lighter. So we did the footer. Let's do on, your, on the very far right one. You, you've got a left, a center, and a right. Let's do the far right one. Let's just type your name in that one. So I'm just going to do Potaker. And if you notice, it actually turned on a top. It turned on your headers, too. Okay, and your footer's down there. Now to get out of them, just hit close. There's the close header footer on your, it gave you a new tab. And it also, that's where you would find like page numbers, date and time. We'll play with all that stuff later. So I close it. You're going to still see it. It won't do the type here. It won't print that off. It'll just do your name. It's a little bit lighter because I can't get into that to edit it. 
Right now it doesn't give you the option to. If you double click on it, it opens it back up and then I can just close it back out, okay? Pretty sweet, right? Easy enough. So you're gonna create a menu today. Let me show you what that's gonna kind of look like. And you, you're gonna design it for your own restaurant. So you can make up your name or, and all the food that you have and all that kind of stuff. But I wanna show you one thing on, on the assignment. So you have, under the assignment, it's going to tell you again, you're going to make the whole file. And as you work through the instructions, you might go, well, I don't understand that. I don't get that. What is that supposed to look like? There's actually an example to mimic. So if you click on the example up here, it'll show you kind of like what the menu is going to look like on the layout of it. Now, don't just open this up and copy this because there's certain things you've got to do, like your, your tabs have to be exactly like it tells you, two inches, five and a half inches or whatever. Make sure those are exactly the same. And your pictures don't have to be exactly where these pictures, you can put your pictures wherever you want, okay? That's just kind of the layout. But you're welcome to make it look like that too um, and just put your stuff in it. But make sure you're following through the instructions to get that, okay? So, and that was just under the example to mimic. And that's usually on the assignment. You probably just haven't noticed it up to this point. So, okay, questions? Can I let you loose? Okay, go for it. Have fun with it. I'll walk around and help out too.